What you are looking at right now is the Diablo Dex trading app. So this is a full-fledged Windows application for trading Diablo 2 resurrected items with other players. You can download this app from diablodex.com. And as of right now, you have to download the app to do trading. In the future, trading will also be available directly on the website. So I'm just going to do a short tutorial on how this works. I've already done around 30 trades with this app. Some of these trades are just tests, so that's why it says 46 here. Uh, so this is what we'll see right after starting the app. This is a list of what people offers on the marketplace, and this is a list of what people need in the marketplace. So if you take a look on the left side here, the first thing you'll see is that I'm currently viewing uh, the Lord of Destruction non-ladder, and I'm also looking at offers as default. Uh, this can be toggled by clicking on them, so you can select uh, when ladder season hits, you just select the Lord ladder. You can also trade on the classic ladder and the classic non-ladder. Uh, not a lot of players uh, play classic, but this is actually an option in Diablo 2 Resurrected. So you can play both the classic Diablo 2 version or you can play the Lord of Destruction version. As a default, the region will default to the US, so I've uh, changed this to Europe. Do note that region doesn't matter in Diablo 2 Resurrected, you can trade with uh, US players if you're in Europe and vice versa. There is no limitation to this as it was before. Just note that to trade with players in other regions, you have to swap to their region or they have to swap to yours before you do the trade. So to do that, you open the Battle.net launcher like this. And you just click this button region and as you can see i'm in europe and now i'm in america and i have to relaunch the game and if uh, when i'm done i can just swap back and go back to europe you also do not have to add uh, a battle tag or nick to use the trading app you can start trading directly uh, the way it works is that it will just use this uh, automatically created user. The user is in unique to your app. So if you install Diablo Dex on another computer, that's a completely new account. So we are working on making email logins available pretty soon. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and uh, look at how to browse items and how to uh, perform trades. So everything here is peer-to-peer -peer trading. So there's no real money involved here. You cannot buy any tokens or anything like that. Actually, we... Uh, we have a strict policy of not allowing that. And if you do try to offer items for money, you will be banned. So let's go through how this work. Uh, when looking for items, first you can see here, this is just basically a splash page that updates, I think it's every two minutes uh, that you can look at. So this is nice to have open if you're looking for some bargains, looking at what going, what is going on in the market. Basically, there are three ways to search for items. Uh, the first of them is trade and browse, basically just for browsing around for items. Uh, useful if you don't have any specific items in mind, you just want to look at what's on the marketplace. Say that I want some kind of unique uh, dagger, you can look at what's on the market. As you can see, there's a lot of wizard spikes. Uh, the way this works is that users that are online will come up first. Uh, users that are offline will be way behind here sorted like i don't know what pay what page we have to browse to find the 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 offline users yeah here they are page three starting to see the uh, the uh, offline users so our goal with this app is basically making it so that it's easy and quick to trade we want to ensure that when you talk to a user in the app uh, there's a high chance that they are online and ready to do the trade we will look at how to put out items in a minute but uh, Having a description as of what you want for the item is very helpful. This player, he wants a lem rune. You can just click that item and say that, Hi, need this and have a lem rune. Click enter and chances are high that he will respond uh, quick. Now we also have a suggested trade game name. So you don't have to, you can just basically click this and say, meet me in game name dex5640 and making it very easy to set up a quick trade. If you don't have a lem rune, you can take a look at what the user has added as his needs. Uh, clicking here, we'll see that this user does not have any listed need at all. So I'll go back and try to find a user with some items. Yeah, so this user, he needs an Arachnid Mesh, so maybe you could trade that for a Wizard Spike. Going back to how to find items, 
Uh, so you have browse, you can browse to charms, runes or even gems and rune words. The other way to search for items is using the search functionality. Uh, this is when you know exactly what item you want. So let's put in Immortal King. Say I want Immortal King's Forge. Uh, so the only property that is mutable on that item is the defense property. I can put in how much defense I want the item to have at a minimum here. So 115. I'll not do that right now. Just keep it blank. Uh, these are all the static properties that can't be changed. So this, this spawns with the item anyway. Uh, click search and you'll find all the Immortal King's forges on the market that you can trade for. Uh, the online users comes first and then the offline users. So this is also the reason why we launch the app automatically with the game. So that every time you launch the game, uh, it will open Diablo Dex and it's easy to, to trade with other users. The last way to browse for items is by using our database. Uh, this is a far more detailed uh, browsing capability. So I can browse by set items and I can also write in a name here like Immortal King. And I can see all of the Immortal King set pieces here. Uh, and what makes this a great way to browse for items is that you might you might not remember the name of the item you are browsing for so it's far easier to find it by clicking all these filters uh, and when you found the item you need and had a look at it and you can also look at the price information so we have kind of an opinion of how much the item is worth uh, you can click this little search button here and it will automatically bring you to the search interface and it will automatically put in the item and start to search right away. So if I have an ist, I can pick up this Immortal King Soul Cage from this user right away. So that's how you browse and search for items that are offered in the marketplace. Say that you want to browse for item that items that people need. Uh, you basically just click this needs button and browse. And now you're browsing for items that people need. And this can be quite nice, say that you have an item and you put it out and nobody's responding. You can look for people, say that I have a Shaco. I have to go to search and I can't write Shaco because then I'll get the base item. So I need to write the name of the unique item, Harlequin Quests. There, search. So I have a Shaco and there are several people that have a need of this, so I can get in and discuss with them what they need. So when, when you write to people, they will automatically pop up here. You can have a look at your conversation with them. Uh, and you can see here, here's an earlier discussion I had with a user about this item. So as someone who just browse for items, this is quite easy to use. You don't even have to put in a username at all. Uh, you can actually also put out items without having any username. Uh, the way you do that is under trade and uh, actually new trade, but I'm just gonna take a look on the items I have in my list already. So you can see here, here are my needs and offers. They are mixed together. I can just uh, click my offers and these are all my items I have out as offering. If you use any kind of forums or Discord or whatever, you can easily export all of these trades. One method is just clicking this little button here, copy the trade text for this item. I'm gonna show you how this works. Click this, it is copied to the clipboard. Let's open Notepad and hit paste. And you can see that it puts out the item and what you put in this, the description for this. Another cool thing you can do here is you can export the whole trading list. So I copied all the items, pasting it here, and it's one line for each, uh, each item. Quite useful. Uh, you can also do this and it will copy a link to uh, we our web page. You can see how this, this is the Diablo Dex web page. And this is the link that was copied to the clipboard. Uh, this is my user and uh, whoever wants to look at all their items you can just give this link and they can look at it uh, quite easily. So say I have a Shaco or a Harlequin Crest and I want to sell it. Go to New Trade and I have to write in Harlequin Crest. There's only one property that is mutable in that item 
And same Shaco has 139 defense. That's all I have to put in. Uh, everything else is added automatically because these are all static properties. I don't remember what this item is worth. So this is a price suggestion that suggests a, a price from pool to East Rune. Do note that these price suggestions are not really exact in any way, but it gives you a very rough estimation as to what the item is worth. So I'm just gonna put want uh, Istrun for this. And I'm gonna add that as something I'm offering. So this is not something I need, this is something I offer. So I click this and now it's out as an offer and will appear, but I will delete this so there are two functions you can do. You can close the trade when you're done. Uh, so it keeps the record. You can browse it under here over trades uh, you have completed. Uh, but I'm just going to delete this. Delete trade. And that is basically how the app works. That's the trading portion of the app. There's also some guides and some other things you can browse here, like information about runes and rune words and gems. Uh, but that's basically how the, uh, the trading portion of the app works. So as you can see, you don't really need a nick, but it's, it is helpful so people can recognize you. So I'm just gonna add my nick again. And now my button ta tag is updated and this is also where you change your region. It, it's helpful. So you have when you trade with people, you have to look at which region they are in. So you ensure that you actually are able to meet up with them and do the trade. Uh, all the trading is done inside of the game. So our app basically just makes it easy for people to connect. And so far it's working really well. We have several thousands of trades going on new users pouring in every day and this really makes the game way more enjoyable there's no more idling in game hoping for people to join a room and maybe they want to trade with you uh, you basically just put out what you have put out what you need and wait for people to search or you go yourself and browse for items and find a user you can trade with when people write to you uh, you will get a little pling and a little notification and they will pop up here this will turn red and you just uh, click here and uh, do the trading directly here other than that there are some other tabs you can explore you can look directly at users like this the active users browse them look at what they're offering what they need this user has basically just created a user to check the app out. He hasn't added any offers or needs. This is also possible. He can still trade with uh, other users that have added items. So no need to do too much work to just check it out. As I said, it's also going to be possible to do all the trading directly on the website. We are working on that. Uh, but what we are going to do is uh, we are probably going to differentiate on the icon here, the green icon, the green circle you can see here, the, this is the online users. We're probably going to differentiate on users that are using the web page. They're probably going to get another kind of icon and the users using the app is going to get some kind of priority over the users that are only using the web app. The logic here is that users that are in the Windows app itself also have the game easily available, so they're easier to trade with. People that are only using the web page, they might be might be at work and browsing and talking to people and setting up trades, so they might not even be at their computer. We really want to make this as smooth as possible. Very happy with how it works right now, and we don't want to make it worse like we want people to do the trade as fast as possible we don't want there to be any delay we don't want it to be like talking to a user and he says oh i'm not home right now i'll be back uh, in two hours so can we trade then i really want people to know that okay this user is online he's in the app he's most likely ready to trade and just do the trade right away so that's all for now uh you can find me in the diablo dex discord it's discord.diablodex.com. I am putting out updates all the time. We are still working on stuff. Right now we're working on adding the full accounts and also a karma system, which we need in place before we add stuff like services. So boost and rush services are coming to Diablodex, uh, but we do want to have a karma system in place for that to avoid scammers. So keep a lookout for that and I'll see you on Battle.net.